Yeah, I, you know, this time of year, it's, it's win, and, win and move on. It really is. You know, that's really what the bottom line is. And I think our, thought our players showed a lot of grit, especially in that second quarter, getting it tied by halftime. So it was a great win for us, obviously. All right, questions for the players. Hi, this is for Cassie. Uh, what, what were some of the things that, that Fort Wayne did early that maybe um, made offense difficult to come by? And then, you know, as you got it going in the second quarter, what changed? Uh, and then how'd you kind of keep that momentum going? I thought they had a lot of defensive energy right from the start. Um, so I thought that was like a little bit of like a jump for them. But um, I mean, we just stayed confident and finally our shots fell. We got, I just remember Bailey getting a steal and like that was like a huge momentum change for us. So I just think that um, we just kept shooting. We got the ball inside a little more and then um, we just had a lot of energy going into the second half. Sydney, same question for you. Um, yeah, kind of uh, going off of what Cassie said, um, our shots weren't dropping and that's fine. I think a lot of us have confidence in ourselves to keep shooting. Um, can't get passive in those situations. And so, um, honestly, I think that we just needed to let the, let the nerves um, kind of shake off a little bit, and we were fine. So um, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves, and so I think we just needed to let it come to us. And like I said, we made some adjustments, but overall it was just um, kind of getting settled in. For, bo for both of you, how, how has this kind of this tournament experience been so far, you know, knowing the proud tradition your program has, and just kind of what's the vibe around the team right now? Back in the championship. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of where you where Green Bay's been for years and years and years. Yeah, I mean, it's been a few years since we've been back here, especially in the championship. So I just mean, we got we got one more game to go, and I think that's our mindset right now is one more, bring the, all the energy we have, and just give it everything we got together as a team. Uh, yeah, going off of that, I think we got here last year, and, and we lost in the semifinal game, and so I think that that really left us with the chip on our shoulder. Um, but we know we're not done yet. Um, so all of the... Success that we've had so far this season doesn't mean anything. One game, one game at a time. So I think that that's kind of been our mentality for the last few weeks: is that we're not done yet. We're not done until until the championship game. So we've been looking forward to it. Any other questions for the players? Great. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Questions for coach? Yeah, Ke Kevin. You're, uh, you know, always been a good defensive team and. Um, I just kind of want to get your thoughts on using the defense to kind of get things ju jump started. You got down early, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, as they mentioned, a couple steals, a couple block shots, and then you're off and running. Yeah, your observation is very good. I thought defensively we had a lot of energy, particularly in the second quarter when we were down by 11 or 13, and get the thing tied by halftime was remarkable, actually. So I thought that was really a big piece of energy, especially in the second quarter is really huge for us but I thought we played with a lot of it all game long and we got some blocks we got 11 steals out of it so the defense really rescued us tonight what would you kind of offer to to Fort Wayne as far as where they're at you know an upset win uh, you know made it here a, a nice performance for them and, and kind of in the same spot that you were a few years ago kind of on the up kind of, you know, I, returning. I told the coach I voted her for coach of the year <laughs> I told her that when she was on our floor I thought they from start to finish probably got better than just about everybody but I don't shortchange us on that keep in mind we've got four kids that are out three of them were starters since the beginning of the year so I think both of our programs came from a lot of they came from you know, a lot of improvement, and I think our players with the injury came from a lot of improvement. So, uh, yeah, it's a long haul. Nothing's guaranteed down the road, but we're lucky to be able to get one and move on. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you. Nope, oh, nope. one more. Sorry. Looking forward to tomorrow. What What are your first thoughts? I mean, I know it's always one at a time, and you're enjoying it for five seconds, and you'll move on yeah, to the right. final. But, <laughs> but what, 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 do you, what can you think about? And you've got two uh, uh, possibilities, but... You know, you've been in this situation 100 times before, but probably 99 of them are on your home court. So how, how do you kind of approach tomorrow well, and, and the, the... Well, we got to wait, obviously, and see who comes out on top. But it's about us. It's about us doing what we do, being us. is That's the biggest thing that we have. Um, we don't have any control over the other team. We only have control over our own. So we got to make sure we have energy again tomorrow, hopefully a little more efficient. Um, but it's going to be a battle, regardless of who we play. We're just fortunate to have this opportunity to be able to play.